This tutorial covers how to review resumes via Greenhouse. From the main Greenhouse dashboard, select the job that you want to review. On the right side under Pipeline, you will see Resumes to Screen and next to it, a review button with the number of candidates to be screened in parentheses. The first option to review resumes is to click on the review button. This will pull open the application review function of Greenhouse. Using application review, you can see the candidate's name at the top, their answers to the application questions, as well as any resume cover letter or attachments that they've included as part of their application. You'll notice the source from which the candidate applied and the date that they submitted their application. To take action on the candidate, you can use one of the three options on the right-hand side. The first is Advance the Candidate to the Next Stage. Clicking on this button will move the candidate forward one step in the workflow. The second option is to leave the candidate in Application Review. This is essentially skipping over the candidate for you to review the candidate later. This might be useful if you want to take additional time to think about the candidate, or if you want to leave them in the queue for a colleague who might be sharing in the review process with you. The third option is to reject the candidate. We'll cover rejections later in the tutorial. Within application review, you can also use the feature Leave Feedback. This will allow you to indicate your overall impression of the candidate based on what you've seen in their, in their resume and application, as well as apply comments on the candidate that you might want to share about the candidate or with other members of your team. You can leave a note, and Greenhouse supports the at mention feature so you can select other users of the system and tag them in your comment. Doing so will send the user an email to their personal inbox with a link to the candidate's resume as well as the comment that you've provided. The second option for reviewing resumes is to click on Resumes to Screen. This will pull up a list of candidates via the Candidate tab that are in the Resumes to Screen status. Click on a candidate's name which will pull up the Candidate Dashboard on the Stage tab. Any candidate in Resume to Screen status will have a View Application button. Clicking on this button will take you to the Details tab of this candidate so you can review the information that you would like. The first is the contact information, other details, the source from which they applied, as well as the resume and any attachments they've included as part of their application. At the very bottom, you can see the answers to the application questions to review as part of making your decision. To take action on the candidate using resumes to screen, you can move the candidate into another stage by clicking on Move to another stage button. This will pull up the list of stages available in this workflow for you to select any stage that you would like. The second option is to reject candidates, which I mentioned we'll review later in this tutorial. Similar to the leave feedback function of application review, you can make a note and at mention your colleagues, and they will receive an email with the comment that you've left as well as a link to the candidate. You can select Mark Public, which will make the comment viewable to all users of Greenhouse, or unselecting Mark Public will make the candidate note viewable only to other users who have access to this job and therefore this candidate. I mentioned that I was going to cover rejecting candidates, which I will do now. When viewing a candidate in their profile, you will see Reject Candidate with a red X next to it. Rejecting a candidate will pull up, clicking on Reject Candidate will pull up the Reject Candidate form, which is a required action of the tool. The first action that you will take is to select a rejection reason from the drop down menu. Rejection reasons are sorted into two buckets we rejected them, and they rejected us. Each section will have a list of available rejection reasons that you may select that corresponds to the reason that you're rejecting the candidate. 
In the case of resume review, lacking skills or qualifications is an ideal status to choose. However, if you see one that's more applicable to the status and the stage that the candidate's in for which you are rejecting them, please feel free to select that, that rejection reason. You may also add additional rejection notes um, to provide additional context as to why you might be rejecting the candidate. Rejection reasons and rejection notes will not be shared with the candidate and will only be view viewable to other users of Greenhouse. The second step is to select the rejection email that will be sent to the candidate. Using the drop-down under Templates, you can select the appropriate template for the status of the candidate from which you are reviewing. In this case, we're rejecting the candidate at resume screening, so I will select that template. Greenhouse will automatically pre-populate the template details with the information that will be sent to the candidate. You're welcome to edit the, the message if you see something that you would like to add as additional context um, or, a, or, or change in any way that feels more appropriate to the rejection that you would like to send to the candidate. The third and final step of, re of rejecting a candidate is to select when you want the email to be sent to the candidates. From the drop-down, you have several options to select from sending the email now, sending it tomorrow, sending it in two days, or picking a custom time where you can select the specific date and time that you want the email to be sent to the candidate. A Stitch Fix best practice is to select a two-day delay on all rejection emails. This will ensure that candidates who may have recently applied to the position are not immediately getting a rejection email from us and provide a better candidate experience overall. Once you've selected the appropriate email delivery time, you'll click Reject and Send Email or Reject and Schedule Email if you've set it for a delay. This will queue up the email to be sent to the candidate at the time that you've specified in the template. That concludes the tutorial for how to screen resumes in Greenhouse. If you have additional questions, please email greenhouse at stitchfix.com. Thanks!